Hey guys, Herbal Evil here. I just wanted to show you a quick trick today on how you can help to make your reverb sound a bit more full and luscious on stereo sounds. So here I have a Rhodes recreation and let me play that for you and it's currently sending to the reverbs. And so what you just heard is that this Rhodes emulation is going to two reverbs, reverb left and a reverb right. So the uh, one send is sending to the reverb left and the send itself is panned hard left. And then the other send is going to reverb right and that's panned hard right. And so for reverb left, I have this tone boosters reverb. And for reverb right, I have this Manny Mariquin reverb. And you can use any reverb you want. I just picked these two at random. Now, when you do this, you're going to have to set the reverb tail times to be the same. And also visually, you can watch the meters to see how they decay. So I'm going to play that one more time. And let's just even look at the meters. So their decay time is roughly the same. That's going to work and kind of meld together to form a cohesive sounding reverb. It's important that we pan the sends themselves because that means that the left reverb is only getting the left side of the Rhodes signal and then that the right reverb is only getting the right side. And then I'm also panning those as well so that way this is only kicking back a left channel and this is only kicking back a right channel. Now if you use Ableton, you kind of have to hack this together because it doesn't really have a way to pan your sound. Ends. So what I've done here is I just kind of made a chord and this is just some bell preset I found in Ableton. Nothing really particularly spectacular. And right there, you're actually only hearing the reverb of it. Let me go back to saying that to the master. So we have this and we're sending it to two sends here, A and B. And what A is, is bus left and B is bus right. So we're faking sort of a bus system. And then we're setting these up so audio is going to sends only so we don't hear their output. Otherwise, you would just hear the raw signal doubled, which we don't want. I'm going to pan bus left, hard left, and pan bus right, hard right. And then bus left is going to go to C, which is reverb left. And then bus right is going to go to D, which is reverb right. And then reverb left is pan left, reverb right is pan right. And the same situation, tone boosters reverb on the left, matching tail time to the reverb that's on the right. And so we can hear that. And so that's pretty nice too, just listening to how you can kind of shape the reverb space and you can play with that. It can kind of create a bigger sounding reverb if the reverb that is on your left is different than the reverb on the right side. And then you just want to kind of match those so it feels cohesive. But that's one way you can get really unique characters for reverbs. So hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.